How you doing? This is Ivan from Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another quote of the day to have a great day. Today, our quote is by Carl Gustav Jung. The quote is, there are as many nights as days, and the one is just as long as the other in the year's course. Even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness, and the word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. So today our topic is on finding and appreciating balance. As the quote says, happiness would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. The problem is that as we go through life and we have a few amazing experiences, we then seek to want and to maintain only good feeling states and avoid what we would label as negative. We live in a world of seeming duality, of contrast, and without the other side, we wouldn't be able to evaluate and appreciate each experience for what it is. Just imagine if we only had blissful experiences. Soon we would take them for granted. We would become dull. So we need to learn to see and appreciate the immense diversity of our world. We need to learn to become balanced in our mind, body, and heart. And to be balanced, we need to learn to entertain and hold the opposites in our mind. Many people tend to only think in terms of either black or white. They become fixed in their ways of thinking, doing, and being. We then become unbalanced, topsy-turvy. So we need to develop our powers of observation to observe in a way in which we don't become identified to our observations, which means we don't become attached or try to push away. Just having the freedom to simply look in the present. If we can hold two opposing ideas in our mind without becoming identified to either, then a new path may start to emerge. This is to learn to think in new ways, to not go down our usual neural paths, and think the same associative fixed mechanical thought patterns. By being able to entertain and hold two opposing views in our inner space, we start to gain insight into the balancing point insight into the thing that can possibly bridge the two views and when we study ourselves we can begin to see where we are unbalanced in our thinking feeling and sensing seeing this starts the process of making all the appropriate connections between our centers of thinking feeling and sensing allowing them to carry out their proper functions and work when our energies are flowing freely we can think clearly we can focus attentively we are happy and our bodies are full of energy and vitality. By finding inner balance, we can then find balance in the chaotic external world. Because after all, below the apparent craziness of life, there is an intelligence humming along with perfect balance that we can learn to tap into all the while appreciating and learning from life's diversity. If you are new to my channel, stay tuned. All the ideas I share on my channel have the aim of becoming more balanced, of inner unity. I will continue to share practical ideas and practices to help you on your inner and outer journey. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed today's quote and idea. If you did, please help me out and hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. And don't keep me a secret. If you find my content to be valuable, please share with someone who may benefit from it. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. Until next time, take care. Peace.